he didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Now the Nets with it. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Here's Durant. And too long on the shot. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Right side, Irving. Three-pointer. And it's Kevin Durant with the three. Durant's got ten points in just the second half. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. So the Nets making a switch here. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Scott Brooks was discussing with his players. He went after his players about their poor defense in the paint, saying, quote, you're showing no fight down there. You're letting them get any shot they want, and they're feasting on us. Show some toughness and push back, guys. Thank you for that, Allie. Irving goes in. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Russell Westbrook. His aggression and his attack mode is one of the things that, to me, sets Irving apart. Moving, driving, attacking, that's when he's at his best. Outside Harden. From that's behind the arc. Game, Harden, gets the trifecta. Harden, so versatile offensively. He initiates, he can play off the ball, he can beat you in transition. He's going to get his points. You can bet on that. Pass to Durant. Shoots over Ibaka. Doesn't go that time. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Outside Durant. That one's good for two. Well, he's capable of scoring from anywhere. Durant's size and touch make him a prime time threat inside. We've got 108 left to the game. And Durant with the big finish. Just a big man playing big. No way to stop it. Durant. Yes. And you know why settle for the Yes, hold on. Throws, Durant might as well just turn it over and punch it home. Here's Durant. And he banks in the layup. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Irving for three. three. And the Nets, another three. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Hard misses. And they're so close to putting this game away. Yeah, B.A., you don't have to do anything crazy. Just run the clock and don't turn it over. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what, and they got it done. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Aldridge with the bucket. And the Nets lead by 16. Aldridge is too strong to let a little bit of contact bother him. I actually think he likes those tough shots. Now Mills. And he drops in the layup off the glass. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Doing all 